Hello and welcome to another lesson of the Embroidery Software Customizer. Today I will show you what you can do with the design once you bring it up into the software. So let's go over here and open a design. As you maybe remember from the introductory video, you can open any format on the market so right now all those designs that came with the machine or with the software are in ART so we're gonna leave it in ART and let's just take this cow here and open that and voila here it is you have two views you can view this cow you have an artistic view that's what you're seeing now it looks like it's been stitched and you can change this by clicking on this icon up here or using the shortcut on your keyboard that would be the letter T you can switch this forward and back you also have another key if you're in design mode up here you see the needle points or the shortcut would be the dot on your keyboard so if I zoom in here and I click, you see all those dots. That means each dot represents where the needle would penetrate your fabric. Let's turn this needle points back off and going on to artistic view. And now down here, let me show you what each of those will do. Once you select the design, you see those eight points that go around it. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Here you got two icons, scaling up, scaling down. You click on it, it will scale up or scale down 20%. You can make the cow look into the other direction or you can flip it so she is upside down. The same thing with the rotation, 45 degrees to the left or 45 degrees to the right. Or if you know you want to turn this cow exactly 20 degrees, you just put in 20 hit enter and the cow would turn 20 degrees with the control C that means undo the previous command you just did you can actually skew it let's go up here and go 25 degrees skewing and you see your cow is looking sort of like she is slightly drunk the sizing is fairly easy and there is several methods you can do this. You got a little lock here. If this lock is open, you can give them a width and the height of your choice. If you would like to proportionally scaling this cow up and down, I click on here, the lock is locked. And if I would like that cow to be 120 millimeter in width, I would just put in 120 and as you see on the bottom the height automatically changed and once I hit enter it will go to a hundred and twenty millimeter of width the same with the percentage I could percentage go and make it now hundred and ten percent of that hundred and thirty two or hundred and twenty and so it went already up to a hundred and thirty two and the size and the height automatically changes also. You also can manual scaling the cow. So if you grab one of those points, you can just click and drag them and you can make this cow fatter just in the width. And as you can see automatically, the stitch count is changing. With other words, the customizer automatically recalculates the stitches. If you grab it on a corner, you proportionally scaling the cow. Here is a little trick you probably won't find in the book. If you hold your control key and at the same time you grab a corner, now you can scale your cow sideways and up and down at the same time. So that's just a little trick you won't be finding anywhere. If you click on the cow again, the outline dot will appear. So if you click, they're black. If you click again, 
they're outlined. What this means that now when you click and drag you will turn the cow around to your desire. Something else you can do like this is here is the turning point. You can move the turning point wherever you would like and now when you grab it outside it will turn around the point where you move the two. As soon as you let it go the point is back into the center of the design. As I said that once before you cannot break this cow apart so you will not be able to change any stitches in here. But what you can do is adjust the colors. So if I slide this cow a little bit to the side so I got more place I will click on this thread color down here and now you see that that cow is colored in isocore thread. But maybe you are a person who doesn't have isocore. You might have something else. So let's see what kind of thread charts there are. Well, just about anything on the market. So let's assume you have Mettler 40 weight numerical. And the cow shading number one is this color here or actually the grass that green grass there is one so right now you would just go and find a color that would match or you maybe even have in your arsenal and now you can assign that and now the color changed right away to the Mettler 40 and now it's 5610 if you want that darker color maybe you would like to use this color here and I'm gonna assign it. If you would own the entire program like the Designer Plus or the Editor Plus here would be another button and you would literally just be able to click that button and it would change all the colors to the desired thread chart of your choice. So once the thread colors are changed if you would like so you just say okay and now you have one more icon that's very valuable here that's the print preview what can you see in the print preview well you see the cow in full scale unless you scaled it down or scaled it up if you have to do the options here you will see i'm going to see the whole design i see the connectors what this means is those little lines you see here, those are the jump stitches. Start and end crosshair, start and end. It's the same place. I didn't zoom it in. It's going to be the cow is exactly that size once I stitch it out. And as you can see, you would be able to actually go up or down with it. This is not going to apply to you because you're not having it. But here you see the thread chart. And if I zoom in just a little bit here, you see the first two colors we changed before. So now they're in metric, or I'm sorry, they're not in metric, they're in Mettler color numbers and not in isocord. Once I'm done, I'm able to save it. And as you know, already you can save it in any format so if you have a Bernina you're going to save it as a USB stick EXP here is already another flower in that particular and here is a bear so now I'm just going to say save and it gives me message and it says object not covered some object and the designs are not covered by the hoops do you would like to continue so I never changed the hoop but I know that I have actually an 830 and not a burnet machine so it will cover the design with my jumbo hoop so I'm gonna just ignore this and say yes and with will save it onto my hard drive but this is a little security so if you have the wrong hoop up, it will remind you that you wouldn't be able to stitch this out. I hope you learned something about what you can do with the design in this software and I see you next time.